The US Bank Cash Plus credit card. Is this a card you should be carrying around in your wallet? Maybe, maybe not. I'll help you decide in today's video. So I recently mentioned this card in the best cashback credit cards for 2022 video. And later on in this video, I'll compare the US Bank Cash Plus card to the other cards mentioned in that video. But first let's hop on the computer and I'll tell you about all the benefits of this credit card. Okay, so here's the main page for the US Bank Cash Plus card. And don't worry, everything that I show you, I'll put links to down below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. So 5% cash back plus a $200 bonus. The $200 bonus you can earn after spending $1,000 on eligible purchase within the first 120 days of opening your account. And then down below the 5% cash back will be on your first $2,000 of eligible purchases each quarter on two categories you choose. So some of the rotating category cards, which is not this, you can choose the same categories every single quarter, but the ones that have rotating categories is generally just $1,500 per quarter as opposed to 2,000. So that ends up being $667 per month or $8,000 per year. We'll talk about the categories in just a second. And then you have 2% cash back at gas stations or electric vehicle charging stations, grocery stores or restaurants. So you just get to choose one of these and 2% cash back. I wouldn't actually use it for any of these except for one scenario I'll talk about a little bit later on. I would just use my SoFi card and everything outside of this 5% cash back, I could get 2% on as opposed to having to choose one 2% cash back category. Then another benefit is 0% intro APR on purchases and balance transfers for the first 15 billing cycles. So you can find more information about the 5% cash back categories by just scrolling down a little bit and you'll see them all right here. But there is another page that explains it more clearly, which is this one. Again, you can find it down below in the description. This page I think does a good job explaining the different 5% cash back categories. So you have TV, internet, and streaming services, this is broader than what I've seen with other credit cards, such as the Amex Blue Cash Preferred card. So they're not going to include the TV and internet part, such as what you see here, Time Warner, DirecTV, Dish, Comcast. This is going to be included in this category for the Cash Plus card. Then here we have a list of fast food restaurants. The one category I would probably choose for 2% cash back would be restaurants and I would only use it as a backup. So if I chose fast food, I would as a backup choose restaurants. So if my favorite sub shop, wherever you happen to live, doesn't fit into fast food, it will fit into restaurants. You'd end up with 2% as opposed to 1% cash back at that restaurant that's not fast food. But for everything else, I would be using a 2% cash back credit card. And this card I would only use for these two categories. Department stores such as Bloomingdale's, Penny's, Nordstrom, et cetera. Then you have home utilities. So if you think you're gonna have a high AC bill over the summer, maybe you'd wanna choose the home utilities category. Select clothing stores, electronic stores, sporting goods, movie theaters, gyms, furniture stores, and ground transportation. So Amtrak, Lyft, Uber, Ventra, Metra, whatever city you're in, there's a good chance that you would be getting 5% cash back for all of your ground transportation. So I kind of put these categories into two different buckets. I think some of them would be fairly consistent in terms of your spending from month to month. So your cell phone bill, fast food, TV and internet, ground transportation, and your utilities. And there are other things that I think would change quite a bit from month to month. And you would want to be thinking about that ahead of time. So if you have kids, which I don't, Maybe going back to school, you have to buy a bunch of sporting goods for the different sports that they play. So maybe the quarter from July through September, you would want to choose sporting goods and get 5% cash back on those categories. And then you wouldn't probably use this category for the rest of the year. If you're thinking about redecorating your home, you could choose furniture stores and then spend up to $2,000 at a furniture store and get 5% cash back on that purchase. One thing I find frustrating with this card is having to make this decision every single quarter. A couple things could go wrong. One, I could just forget to go online and choose my 5% categories and just go on using the card like normal, thinking I'm getting 5%, but I end up getting 1%. The second thing is if I lock my 5% categories in at the beginning of each quarter, so before July 1st, before October 1st, etc. So let's say I made the decision for this quarter at the end of June. And then in August, I decided I'd like to buy some furniture. Well, I already chose different categories. And maybe with those categories, I only spend a couple hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars in the quarter, as opposed to the whole $2,000 that I could get 5% cash back on. And so as opposed to being able to make the change and 
get 5% for the new furniture I want to buy for my apartment. I'm stuck with those old categories. And would I want to wait as opposed to buy something in August or September, wait until October, make the change then and get the 5% for my furniture purchase. So it's one thing I find a little bit frustrating to basically have to go to this page every single quarter. I do get text messages and emails from US Bank reminding me, but having to make a decision for the next three months, not my favorite. A bank that does it a little bit different is the City Custom Cash Card. So if we scroll down here a little bit, you can see that earn 5% cash back on purchases in your top eligible category. So it's one category as opposed to two, and it's only $500 per month as opposed to two grand per quarter. So it's a little bit lower, but it's essentially gonna take whatever one of these categories you spend the most money in each statement cycle and give you 5% cash back on that. So obviously for each month with this card, you would wanna make a conscious decision of only making purchases for that one category each month. But in July, you purchase one particular thing. So maybe you spend it on gas, then you wanna spend 500 bucks on something else. So you use it for that. I kind of like this way of doing it versus having to make the decision every quarter. Now, as promised, let's compare the US Bank Cash Plus credit card to a bunch of other top cashback cards. To do that, we're gonna take a look at the spreadsheet I put together with a hypothetical budget comparing the best cashback credit cards. So as you can see here along the left, you have the different categories, the amount of monthly spending. The first way we're gonna look at it is how much cashback you would earn based on this budget if you just use one card for all of your spending. So the worst in this case was the city custom cash card because you only get 5% in one and 1% 1 everywhere else. Then going to the right, so the Capital One Saver One, Freedom Flex, as you can see, the Wells Fargo Active Cash would be the same as the SoFi credit card, 2% cash back on everything. The Amex Blue Cash Preferred, for example, is 6% on streaming and grocery, 3% on public transportation and gas stations. This one has higher cash back, but in year two and beyond, there is a $95 annual fee. And then here we have the US Bank Cash Plus card. So this card is the second best in my analysis because you're getting 2% cash back at grocery stores of $500 a month of spending. Then you get 5% cash back on restaurants. I'm counting the restaurant spending as 100% fast food, which is an assumption, and then 5% with utilities. So here you can see overall using the US Bank Cash Plus card was earning over 2%. The only card by itself that did better was the Chase Freedom Unlimited card because there are a couple categories that are 3 and 5%. And then what really helped is the other categories as opposed to earning just 1%. As you see with all the other cards, if it's not a high category, you end up with three and 5% in a couple of categories and then one and a half percent everywhere else. And now you're gonna see as you combine several cashback credit cards, you don't really need the US Bank Cash Plus card except for specific categories where you can't get high cash back from other cards. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So the two combinations for two cards that I was looking at before was the a 2% card plus the Chase Freedom Flex card or the Amex Blue Cash Preferred and a 2% card. Another potential way to do it is the Amex and the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. And then th if you want three cards, the highest I was able to put together was the Amex card, Chase Freedom Flex, and the Wells Fargo Active Cash. But where you end up using the US Bank Cash Plus card, so you can see here for this combination of using potentially four different cashback cards, the Amex Blue Cash Preferred, I would use for grocery, gas station, streaming, as well as transit. Wells Fargo for all the categories that I didn't have something else. And then for US Bank, here I would use for restaurants, again, counting as fast food, as well as utilities. So what you can see me do here is looking at where you spend money and little by little trying to find cards that can give you the highest cash back in each of those categories. So with this hypothetical budget, if you were willing to use five different cash back cards, you could essentially earn over 4% cash back and still over 4% by paying $95 per year to Amex. So as you can see with this budget, I would essentially use the US Bank Cash Plus card for utilities and the cell phone. 
because you don't really see this anywhere else where you can get 5% cash back for utilities and cell phones. It wasn't an option if we scroll through all these other cards. So hopefully as you saw from this video, the US Bank Cash Plus card can help you earn higher cash back, but it doesn't offer the most popular categories, which I would say would be gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants overall. But there are some pretty solid categories and categories you can't find with other cashback cards. So if this is your first cashback credit card, this probably isn't the card that I would choose. I would probably use something like the SoFi card and just get 2% cash back on everything. But if you spend a lot of money in categories where this card offers 5% cash back, it's a no brainer. If you wanna learn more about the best cashback credit cards in 2022, check out this video up above. And if you wanna learn how to analyze your spending and figure out the best cards for you, check out this video right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.